So the Walmart PC was supposed to be given away for the 12 hour charity stream that Paul and I did. And we actually put it in the back seat of Wifey Sauce's car at some point. And once we got home, Wifey Sauce didn't want the PC visible in her back seat, which is understandable. So she, unbeknownst to me, took the system out of the back seat and placed it in her trunk, not tied down or anything like that. And then the next day I have to go run errands, but her car is blocking mine in the driveway. So I just end up taking her car. I'm running around town all day. I get home. Then two days later, she tells me, so usually I'm semi-joking when I say this, but truly this time around, this is all your fault. No. Yes, yes it is. your fault too. This is literally 0% my fault for once in my life. You get all the credit here. Here it is, let's see the damage. Oh, oh, oh my God, the front panel. It's the front panel. Did you check anything else? Are all the other parts okay? I'm too scared to look. Honey, look at all the glass. How are you gonna clean this all up without my help? Don't bat your eyes at me like that. We're married, that doesn't work anymore. All right, so I guess we're uh, we're, we're taking my car for today. Yep. We'll deal with this later. Seconds later, wifey sauce spills water all over my car. Well, that you, you can't you can't get you can't yell at me in front of the camera. You, handed this to you me can't yell at me in front of the camera. I'll report you. I have evidence. Can we just go, please? Husband abuse. Let's go. We have stuff to do. You're right. I love you. I said I love you. I love you too. Okay. The Thermaltake A500 aluminum TG mid-tower features a sleek aluminum front panel and two 4mm tempered glass panels for breathtaking views. Enjoy 420 and 360 rad support at the front and top respectively and breeze through installation with a dismantleable modular design. Step up your case game with the A500 aluminum TG and click on the link below for more info. Take me to Starbucks! <laughs> I need you coffee. You always go to Starbucks. You can go one morning without it. No, I you, need coffee you every day. You only drink decaf. You're but not even, it's the you have habit. nothing to be addicted to. It's the flavor I'm addicted to. It's like getting marijuana with all the THC out of it. Get in this lane. You're just smoking literal grass. Get the good stuff at least. I'm not gonna make a pit stop for grass weed. Get it! No! Get it! Get it! You have too much power. You just park. I'm gonna do a drive through I know, but I have my, my cup that I wanna use. Ah! This is getting worse by the second. So many traps. We're never gonna get anything done today. While we're waiting for wifey sauce, why don't I give you an interior look at my car? This is an Audi RS3. There's no three there though. Here, three, there you go. This is the steering wheel. It's got buttons. Buttons on the steering wheel that go whoop de whoop and whoop de whoop. You also got a little cool air conditioner here with a little clicky clacky ring thingy. It looks like a little cool Death Star. Coolest Death Star ever. Could it cool you? And then over here you've got a little mount for your phone. I bought that separately. It didn't come with one. Car is such a rip off. Got a big shift stick here. This RS on the top. Very smooth. And if you look really hard, if you look really hard, you, you can see yourself in there. It's magical. And you got more clicky clackies and knobby knobbies right here. There's a nice seat. Seat's got more stitching. I think there's another RS here. And then we got the screen. The screen's really nice. You can do the clicky rotatey thingy. There's a towel. That didn't come with the car. And there's more RS thingies on here. I think most people who buy this car forget what it is. So the Audi's gotta put RS everywhere so they don't forget. And then you've also got sunroof. Oh, that's bright as shit. A little pocket where she put stuff. I got my Altoids in there. Jeez, finally. Just bored out of my mind in here. So what are we doing today, darling? House stuff. No, I'm talking to the viewers, not you. Oh. We are doing house stuff. We're gonna get lunch, we're going to lunch right now. Then we're gonna meet with the plumber. The entire plumbing of the house needs to be replaced. It's still original galvanized, or at least most of it is. It's still galvanized steel, so we're gonna swap it all out for copper. And the whole process should take anywhere from three to five days. So while the plumber's doing some prep work, Wifey Sauce and I are gonna go out shopping for some new shower fixtures because the house is really outdated and we have to make sure that it's all compatible with the new pipes that the plumber's putting in. So we might hit the old Home Depot. So that's what we're doing today, sort of a house vlog. And you guys can expect a few more of these as time goes on because Wifey Sauce and I have a lot of work to do on this house. And we can't always work in the more traditional sense while fixing up the house at the same time. So being able to mesh the two in a vlog like this works out really nicely for us. And hopefully you guys get some quality content out of it. But yeah, where are we gonna eat? Shabu! Shabu! Lead the way, honey. We're going to Shabu Shabu. So this is Shabu Shabu. It's Japanese hot pot. You pick your broth, you pick your protein, you get a side of veggies, and you dump it all in your pot. It's kind of like a DIY sort of experience. Very tasty. Shabu Shabu. All right, we are in the Casa de Bitwit now, and we just met with the plumber. He's actually gonna start tomorrow officially, which means our first errand of the day is to actually make a duplicate copy of our house key so that he can let himself in when we're not around. So this is actually the perfect opportunity to replace all of these fixtures. The master 
master bathroom is actually on the opposite side of this wall. So they're sharing this wall right here, which is kind of good because the plumber now only has to punch holes in this wall to access both fixtures. We'll figure it out once we're shopping around and stuff. And then the third and final errand that we're gonna try to get done today is swapping out a couple of these ceiling fans. For one, this is gonna be our designated shooting area. This is like the studio room where I'm gonna be filming most of the time. And I've got, you know, large studio lights with soft boxes, C stands and things like that, which actually reach up pretty high. So this is really low clearance. Like the fact that I can touch this right here, the fact that I can touch it just shows how, how low it is. So we're actually gonna have to swap that out for a regular light. We'll go shopping around for one of those. And then we've got our master bedroom here, which also has this really ugly, super dated looking ceiling fan that we'll have to swap out as well because it is again, super low and it's just kind of nasty. We'll keep the bulbs. The bulbs are great. It doesn't really do it justice on camera, but this thing is, this thing's messed up. That's what's on our to-do list for today. It should be pretty straightforward and that's pretty much it. So what's wifey sauce doing? You locking up? Yeah. Ready to do this? Let's do it. Oh! White girl dance, white girl dance. Oh wow, too far? That's where we crossed the line, okay. All right, so it's a bit further away, but you know, if we can get all three errands potentially done at one spot, we're just gonna go to the Home Depot. Screw it, hardware pun. I think this might be the very first time in my life I've ever gotten a cart at Home Depot. Cause usually when I come here, it's for like, you know, one little thingamajig. But now we're, we're playing with the big leagues, the flat one. Yeah, just something, you know, simple, low profile. Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, it looks better than the one next to it. That one looks like a boob. Definitely LED is good. All right, we're just gonna go with a two pack of this. 1360 lumens, it says it's equivalent to three 60 watt bulbs, which should be bright enough for those rooms. They're not terribly big. Yeah, let's just do this. All right, shower fixtures. We have to pick a set that has three knobs for the guest bathroom. For the master. Oh, for the master, sorry. And they only have two options right here in the top corner. Wifey Sauce and I don't really like the first one, so we're probably gonna go with that one. That's our only option. Unfortunately, we don't like the shower head. It looks a little lousy, so we, we might actually just buy a dedicated shower head separately and swap that out. Now we do have some more options for the guest bathroom. Wifey Sauce doesn't like the shiny fixtures. She thinks too shiny. They show dirt a little bit more. So we're probably gonna go with something more matte. Maybe like this one on the top. Probably something like that. All right, dump them in. All right, this one? Yep, and then D28. This is for the uh, master bathroom, the ugly shower head. They're a little ugly in there. Maybe we should get a different shower head then? Yeah, or? let's get a different shower head. They're over that All one. right, we have a lot of head options here. Oh, these are the hoses. You don't want a hose? You're not down with the hose? Ooh, what about the one that looks like a case fan? No. No? No. The big one? The Kohler one? Oh, yeah. you would want the Kohler. $34. What do you think, money grows on trees? Yeah. This is basic though, this is just like... Is it a basic? Is it the Kohler basic line? Kohler, now for poor people. All right, let's get your stupid sunflower one. Toss it in. Okay, so we tried to duplicate the key, but we failed because they actually don't sell blanks that say do not duplicate on them, which we definitely want for our house key. So we have to go somewhere else, but we're done here. So let's check out. So we got our key, dude. I didn't really vlog that because there really wasn't much to it. Sydney! Oh, you're going the right way. Might have, might have missed my turn. What did I say? Didn't I say, can you just focus on the road, please? So now we get to sit through traffic. No, 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 yep. no. Yep, bumper to bumper traffic totally. because someone made the wrong turn. No, it's because it's a nice little detour of this city that we don't know much about. It's a nice little scenic route. Never noticed that freeway bridge before. Beautiful. Can you please get in this lane? I'm this going. This is the exiting yeah. lane. I'm going. Yep. Thank you. So we need a screwdriver. The new house is completely empty. So it has no tools in it. I didn't bring any tools. And now we have to go to a hardware store to get a screwdriver so that we can install the light fixtures. You know what we should also buy? What? A ladder. Aladdin? Yeah. A ladder. A ladder. DVD, Blu-ray, we're talking VHS. We just stream it. Unless you meant a ladder. I did mean a ladder. L-A-D-D-R. And that's what I said. R. should learn how to enunciate better. You're on thin ice already, buddy. I would choose your words very carefully. Okay, Princess Jasmine. <laughs> We also have to get a broom. Wifey Sauce wants to actually sweep our driveway because there's a bunch of uh, leaves and stuff falling from the big trees that are out in front. The question is, will she go with the AMD broom or the NVIDIA broom? I mean, the AMD one's probably a better value. Oh no, I think they're the same. Green one must be on sale. Why do you like the green one better though? I don't know, it looks nicer. Probably runs cooler. I feel like this one will treat its customers better though. I'm so torn. Is this the one you're getting, final answer? Yeah. Fanboy. And then dustpan. Okay, I need a short person ladder, which means I need a really tall ladder. Either of these look pretty good. They're about the same height. How much is this one? This is a hundred dollars, and the other one is fifty-ish, fifty-ish dollars. It's almost half price. So what does that mean? Does that mean I'm definitely gonna die on that one? I actually had a question about these two ladders because they look about the same, but this one's twice as expensive yeah, as that this one. Is made of fiberglass. What's the benefit with the fiberglass? It's just non-conductive or something? Exactly. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah, I will die on this one then, especially if I'm, <laughs> especially if I'm changing lights. So uh, we might. 
have a little bit of a problem here. I was hoping to go to town on these light fixtures right now, but I don't think I can because it's getting really dark. You know, it gets dark really early these days. In fact, it's getting dark really quick now. It's already 5.30. It doesn't look so bad on camera, but that's just because of the low light sensor. But in person, it's, it's kind of hard to see in here, honestly. Also, this is an empty house. We don't have any other external lights or battery operated lights that we could use to help us. And obviously we have to keep this light off while I'm working on it because of safety reasons. We might have to rain check this. So that kind of sucks. Well, we can't really do much else here. We have to wait for the plumber to install those. So really the only thing I can show you right now is wifey sauce sweeping the driveway. It's officially dark, but it's only 6.11, which means there is a metric F ton of traffic right now on our way home to my grandparents' place, and we don't want to wait an hour or two in traffic right now, so we have to find something else to do in the area of our new house. We don't really have any ideas. Movie! So, movie! Is there anything good playing, though? I'm looking. I'm not gonna just watch some crap movie. Aquaman. Is Aquaman any good? I have no Mary idea. Mary Poppins returns! Again, I'm not gonna watch some crap movie! That's not crappy! I'm feeling really knackered right now. How about you, Mary? Why don't we go for a swim on the Thames? Let's look up Aquaman. Oh, well, got a 64%. That is not. It's great. a fresh tomato. Barely. That's like getting a C in a class. 82% it's audience approval. Barely passing. In fact, a 64 in school would be a D. We should go see Aquaman. Uh, oh, Bumblebee would probably be good because that's a Transformers movie. Because it's a Transformers movie, it'll be good. Where's your logic there? Bumblebee got 93%. Bumblebee? Yes. About the car? The Transformer look, car? Look, 93%. Wait, Spider-Man got 97. I'm so sick of but this is a different Spider-Man. He's into the Spider-Verse. That's gotta be better than the Spider-Chorus. Can we just see Bumblebee? It's different. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna watch the stupid Bumblebee trailer just to see if there's any chance I might want to see it. Come on. Oh, it's not loading, sorry. I can look, at, look it up for you. No, that's okay. We can nope. just not see it. Nope. I'm Charlie Watson. I'm 18. Today, actually. Is the Beetle for sale? Kid. This is this is basically E.T. but with a car instead of a wrinkly old alien man. I mean Bumblebee's really cute and all. Really? You wanna see it? What time does it start? Okay, so what do we decide on? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. The reason being is that Bumblebee seems to be a better movie for the big screen. That was our logic behind it. That's what happens. That was my logic behind it. But now we get to buy beer. This is a nice nice bar here at the Arclight Cinema. Very swanky. Are we ready to do this? Let's go. I like that this theater has assigned seats. It's orderly. Also, we're in like the perfect position to just film the whole movie and then sell it on the internet. Are you trying to get our channel killed off? It's already dead. All right, what'd you think of it? What score would you give it? I'd give it a nine out of 10. That's pretty good, it's pretty well, up there. it was entertaining. It was funny. I like this one way more than any of the Transformer ones by far. It seemed more just like a regular movie and not just all about Transformers and explosions. And they were really good action scenes, but they weren't over the top or in your face as much as the other ones. It wasn't like you were seeing an explosion every five seconds. It had a lot of uh, heart to it. It was very heartfelt, but not in a cringy way necessarily. It was actually pretty good. It reminded me of a live action version version of the Iron Giant. Oh, yeah, that actually is... Which is a great movie. I can see that. So if you like the Iron Giant, you should check out Bumblebee. Bumblebee. It was good. I liked it. Bumblebee.